Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Joy of Puzzles. I have for you today a puzzle titled Darts. It was published in 2018 by the Royal Jumbo Group, more commonly known just as Jumbo. This company is located in the Netherlands, with offices in Belgium, Germany, and the UK. Uh, the Royal Jumbo Group is made up of about 130 people, and the company has been around since 1853. They claim on their site to be one of the oldest toy companies in the world, which probably pretty hard to argue with. They're also partnered with a company called Deset that is located in Spain, where they manufacture other types of toys. Um, the artist is Jan van Harstren. I have puzzles in my inventory from him. There's another video somewhere up there for him as well. Interesting guy. His artwork has appeared on over 640 different puzzles. And he started back in 1975, and his earliest puzzles were of Popeye. He is from the Netherlands, just like the company that did this publication. And I would say those of us have a certain age group may look at his art style and be reminded of a pretty famous publication back in the day called Mad Magazine. Yeah, I look at these pictures and it reminds me of the one of the interior, maybe the center piece of the magazine where it was just try to find the hundred different things that are going on in the in the magazine, you know, the comedic moments and his art style is very much like that. In 2021, Jan turned 85 and the folks at Jumbo set up for him a brand new website. Uh, if you happen to be able to read Dutch, uh, this is the perfect website for you. <laughs> there was no English translation, uh, but plenty of uh, little videos and examples of his art and things of that nature. Give it a click. It's pretty well done. I mean, he is not a young man, and he's been doing this an awful long time. He deserves a lot of credit to have stuck with this style and been this successful. Uh, yeah, there's two links. One for his website, and one for one dedicated just to his puzzles. This is a thousand-piece puzzle, and it took five hours to build. Almost exactly five hours. The strategy well, I started with the edge, but hand-drawn cartoons like this, they kind of bring about their own little bits of challenge. Uh, it isn't like a photograph, so you have to approach these things very differently. In this case, I started with the one tablecloth that was not white in color, and the shower curtain. Though it is white, the texture of it is very different. And the windows, of course, in the back kind of stood out. And after that, well, I went after all the other white tablecloths with the little food platters on them. Once you have those built, that really fills in a large portion of the puzzle. Uh, from there, I kind of went after the, the people. They have different color shirts and pants, uh, and their heads are distinct. So that really filled in the majority of it. And then after that, the dark wood paneling and the lamps and the dart boards kind of stood out. Not much in the way of Hunt and Peck, even at the very end. I felt that the artwork is such that you can find where most things go. I mean, tablecloths look a lot alike, but once you have a, a bunch of them laid out, you kind of figure out where it belongs. So not having to Hunt and Peck at the end of a puzzle is always satisfying. Let's talk about the review. I'm going to review this puzzle in four different categories on a scale of one to five. This is the first puzzle by this company that I have built. Um, and with that being said, the first category being the puzzle material quality, it's slightly above average. I'm going to give this a four. The pieces were rigid. Uh, the bond was excellent with the image onto the paperboard. So this was, for me, just above average from what I've been doing lately, so definitely a 4. I will look for this brand name in the future. They are primarily in Europe, but Amazon is a wonderful thing. You can get puzzles from just about anywhere at no extra cost. So I am going to look for this brand and see what else I can get from them. The puzzle cut 
quality and design was also above average. I'm going to give them a 4 for this as well. I felt that it was mostly traditional shapes, but unlike other puzzles that have the very traditional shapes, the variation in the little tabs and were such that I don't really recall putting any pieces in the wrong spot, forcing them into a spot and then having to wiggle them free and be like, oh, drat, I've made a mistake here. So above average for this as well, even though the design is traditional, uh, the quality is above average. And that made for a very pleasant experience. I don't build these things to be frustrated. <laughs> I built them to uh, relax. So this was right in that category. All right, third category, difficulty. What can I say? A thousand piece puzzle, made it in five hours, it's got to be a two, right? Uh, there is really nothing challenging about the image. Uh, there is so many characters, so many fine details that putting pieces where they go is pretty simple. You can pull most pieces out and guess where they are. Yeah, there's some brown and there's some paper, you know, uh, white tablecloths and plain paneling and such that, yeah, you may not know right where it goes, but you've got a pretty good general idea where it belongs, so this was a two. Straightforward. Um, all right. The most subjective of all the categories, number four here, frameability. If I was the type of person that built a puzzle once and only once, would I seal it forever and hang it somewhere? Well, it's a poster, right? This kind of artwork is... It's got its place, not maybe not in my living room, but I'm going to give this a 3 for frameability. It is clearly a poster. I could see having a collection of these um, someplace, and they certainly are entertaining to look at. You can spend a fair amount of time looking at all the little details, and I guess you know maybe that's the point of art, right? To get you to look at it and talk about it. Well, he's done that for us, Mr. Jan. And uh, this is frameable. Again, maybe not living room or museum, but definitely a poster. Overall, not a linear thing. Difficulty scores and frameability scores don't aren't really part of the factor. I pretty much just look at the quality of the puzzle and the cut quality as my deciding factor of would I build this again? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to give this a 4 overall. This was above average. I enjoyed this quite a bit. And enough so that I will actually make an effort to find more puzzles by this artist and ideally by this manufacturer. I have other puzzles by this artist, by other companies that I also like, but this one stood out as being superior in quality. So for me, this is an overall, it's a four. It's definitely a, something I would loan out and I would build this again, definitely. Um, it's a good way to spend a couple of hours. All right, what else can I say about this puzzle? Uh, I mean, I guess I just want to talk about the artist, and we'll call it his dedication. I looked over his website, and I downloaded a list of all the puzzles he's ever made by year, and this guy is pretty prolific, and early on figured out that there was a, a market for his works, right? And I guess that's a big challenge for everybody. It's one thing to be creative, it's another to find an audience, and he has been very successful in that venue. I'm pretty sure on the Dutch website it said that uh, over a million of his puzzles have been sold, right? You think about that number. That is massive. Um, and only 650 puzzles, so he is quite popular and deservedly so. So between his artwork and the manufacturer's great job, I will build this again and I will definitely enjoy every minute of it. All right, well, if you like the video, if you uh, maybe even want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click those wonderful buttons at the end here somewhere. And I appreciate everyone that takes 10 minutes out of a day to watch one of these things. I look forward to bringing you more puzzle videos in the very near future. Thanks again, everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye.